Hello everyone, welcome. I'm very glad to be presenting today a quick video on the Gen Z and young audiences activity on social media. My name is Carlotta, I'm the director and founder at North Forma Entertainment and today we'll be looking at the topic of the environment and climate change. Let me tell you a little about me. I am a producer, writer and the founder at North Forma, a creative studio that uses data to craft stories of sustainability and courage, optimized for the new generation of audiences. The environment, intersectionality, social justice, gender and sexual identity and mental health are the topics we're specialised in, as they are the topics of paramount importance to the specific audience segment we've decided to serve. This video's goal is to empower you with a practical framework to understand Gen Z as an audience. Our industry is changing, as a matter of fact the entire world is changing, and Generation Z is very much at the forefront. So kicking off the session for today, I'd like to start with the end. The world as we know it is scrambling in front of our very eyes, and young audiences are spearheading the transition. Understanding the activity of young influencers on social media opens the door to a million of diverse communities, personalities and hence perspectives, and if we pay attention, we could be able to get a glimpse of the internal world of the most elusive audience yet. The social media landscape is a hive of millions of subcultures, tribes, groups, movements. It's near impossible to number them all. On social media, the rules are very simple. A creator provides a clear value and her audience will pay back with loyalty. We will see that Gen Z, thanks to this simple yet powerful dynamic, have the capacity to amass enormous audiences, hence to generate actions with significant impact online and offline. Let me show you an example in this video. You guys spammed me to plant 20 million trees on Twitter, Reddit, all over my comment section, so I made it happen. Today, we will be planting 20 million trees. And we put them in the hole. Now we need mulch. Put the mulch around the tree, and we hydrate it. And there we go. And again, hole, tree, mulch, water. And before we go any further, this is Sarah. She's a tree planting expert. Will this tree grow to be big and healthy? I'm gonna look and see if I can pull on it and it doesn't pull out of the planting hole. So good job there. Only 19,999,980 more trees, let's go! Yeah! Yeah! Mr. Beast is an American influencer with an audience of 37.3 million subscribers on YouTube. For Generation Z, the online space is a personal universe and an identity catalyst. Effectively, their account is an extension of the self. Influencers seem to have the confidence and effectively the duty to be tackling enormous problems. And they do this thanks to a secret power, their unique individualism. Individualism is a key concept because it drives all the decision making that Gen Z make in terms of how they spend their time and energy. In order for you to provide value and hence generate large audiences to sustain your reach, you need to have a defined, clear individual voice. It's been a hard week and I know you need some encouragement and I have some people who want to give that to you. You are you, which stands for your own uniqueness. You are so loved. You are valued. Your life is priceless and holds so much importance. And don't let anyone or anything tell you otherwise. You are precious to those who surround you and those who love and support you. You are heard. You are spoken for by value and uniqueness. You are worthy of all the love that you continuously give out to other people. You are everything and more. You are needed. You are important. You are pretty and you don't need to change for anyone. You are appreciated. Remember that. You are valuable. You are multidimensional. You have been using your voice and making sure not to stay silent. And because of that, you will make a difference. I love this clip because it really reminds me of someone, doesn't it? Individualism is something that is particular to this age. At this age, teens go through a neurological phase that determines their growth. Brain imaging done since the 90s has shown that brain development in this period of life progresses the evolutionary newer and more complex thinking areas at the front of the brain. Teens here start to develop the most complex and creative time for their brain and the full development happens in the mid-20s. This is important because not only teens are going through this phase of growth, 
but also in the times we're living in, many young creators with large audiences have seen themselves as leaders of their own communities. Their posts were proper public communications to guide and listen and effectively lead their audiences through these rocky times. Gen Z influencers are really showing up for themselves and their peers. One of the most important and strongly felt dialogue in the social media community active in the environment conversation is about making the topic intersectional. Intersectionality is the acknowledgement that within groups of people with a common identity, whether it be gender, sexuality, religion, race, or one of the many other defining aspects of identity, there exist intergroup differences. Intersectional activism is the ability to look at oppression and injustice in a way that encompasses all of the human experiences, looking at social issues holistically and not as single scenarios. Let me show you an example of a young influencer. She mostly covers environmental issues and she also has just recently launched a YouTube channel tackling intersectional issues related to climate change and Black, BAME and Indigenous communities. Hi. My name's Christy, and I'm starting my own podcast called Brown Girl Green. Brown Girl Green comes from the many stories and experiences I've received from people outside of the environmental community who find that traditional environmentalism is a privileged, inaccessible lifestyle and movement for the liberal elite. So this all started when I attended this mind-blowing environmental conference my freshman year, where this white woman stood up and asked these panelists, why is no one taking action on climate? We should care about the birds and the bees and the trees. So why is no one taking action on any of this? And this empowered black woman stood up, took a deep breath, and she said, you know, I come from Detroit and I live where there's a factory polluting from upstream down to my water supply. So I would love to care about the birds and the bees and the trees, but first I have to care about my babies who are sick, my community who is dying and just trying to survive by living paycheck to paycheck. So we can't be talking about Yosemite if we're not even talking about Flint. We can't talk about farmers markets if we're not talking about food insecurity. And we can't even begin to talk about shifting to a clean energy future if we don't address the economic injustice and racial injustice that is running rampant across our country today. So my goal and vision for Brown Girl Green is that we can change the story of what it means to be an environmentalist in the 21st century, and that we can come up with practical and feasible solutions to climate change that work for each and every one of us. So come join me and join this story. As you can see, Gen Z being motivated by practicality generate vivid digital communities that have a clear, simple objective in order to tackle sustainability in the real world. It's a device to channel collective energy into an active solution. The community is then able to spread information and knowledge while providing a playground where group activity releases anxiety and turns the problem into a fun global action canvas. Another brilliant example is Ailey Thomas. She's a 19 years old international speaker, a wellness and compassion activist, vegan food and lifestyle content creator, She's also the founder and CEO of a nonprofit called Happy, Healthy, Active, Positive, Purposeful Youth. Haley founded Happy when she was 12 years old to redefine youth empowerment through holistic education and address the need for free and affordable plant-based nutrition and wellness education in underserved at risk community. And she's just getting started. She has impacted 89,000 plus young people through public speaking and happy initiative. She also has 10 years experience of speaking and teaching to 6,000 plus members in her online communities across social media. During the weeks of the Black Lives Matter protest in America, she published what is effectively a manifesto of intersectional activism that not only illustrates very well the traits of a top-notch Gen Z influencer, but also demonstrates how Gen Z are empowered by their own individualism and have acute awareness of the environment they are active in. I want to show you a video from her personal Instagram page where she introduces herself to her new community of followers. You know, I often think back to where this all began. I love some spinach, remember? Popeye. Get the whisk and mix it up. I'll be ready. Mix it up. 
You're the mint master, aren't you? Hello, everyone. I'm here today to tell you that there's a gourmet chef in every child. How much I've learned and grown, how far this journey has taken me. Getting to do intentional community work through educating and empowering my peers and people of all ages all over the world has been one of the greatest gifts in my life. One of my favorite quotes by Robert Ingersoll says, we rise by lifting others, and this couldn't be more true. I am so honored and proud to play a part in cultivating our collective well-being through not only following my own unique path and sharing that journey, but helping my global community fuel their futures and potential by prioritizing self-care and nourishing our bodies, minds, and souls. Also acknowledging that everyone's an influencer. Um, simply by sitting at a table with someone, you're influencing them, and it's not just the social media expression, it's in daily life. It's been ridiculously humbling to be a part of the journeys of so many and to deeply understand the impact and importance of sharing our stories and being vulnerable, because that's where it all begins. This past decade, I've had some of the most unbelievable experiences of my life. But the good news is, I'm just getting started. The best thing that we can possibly do is expand the minds of young people and not put a cap on their potential. Intergenerational collaboration is the key to making a food system that is healthy and just and really created for all. Just put the content out there that feels right to you and you'll attract that audience. Like it's great to follow these tips and everything, but if it doesn't fit within your ultimate intention and morals, like don't step outside of that just to please a general audience. Racism is imbued in the fact fabric of this country, so how can we possibly talk about a food system without including that conversation on race and the inherent racism of the food system? One question comes spontaneous, and that question is, what's next? What would the future look like? You can expect that Gen Z, a diverse, motivated, purposeful and empowered generation, will take the lead. Their voice will grow louder, their purpose will go stronger. What can we do to help them is the most important question that we can ask ourselves as entertainment makers. I'm going to be leaving you today with a clip from Climate Diva, an Instagram intersectional environmentalist influencer who embodies exactly the quality of energy that Generation Z wants to bring in the world. Thank you for your attention. I hope this video has been high opening and insightful. At our organization, we specialize in Gen Z knowledge, providing data intelligence to the entertainment industry. Do get in touch if you have any questions about the presentation today, or if you'd like support with any project about climate change, social activism, and mental health. Our mission is to help you establish a stronger relationship with Gen Z, so make sure to get in touch. Thank you.